Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Matthew Maley for MatthewMaley.com. Well, as I said in my last video for the Playoff 12s, told you guys I had another couple pickups coming. Now, as you can tell by the box, here they are. So, again, as you can tell by the box, this is definitely an older pickup. Believe um, these were dropped in 2008 or 2009, but it's officially my first countdown pack, uh, my first collection pack, if you will. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I do have the, the Stealth 20s that came from, um, excuse me, a countdown pack, but it wasn't the whole pack. I just got the 20s. Um, so this is one of the lesser sought after packs, but I personally really like it because as you guys know, I'm trying to add, I want to have at least one of every single one of his shoes. Even the 2012s, I know I said last video how horrible they are. I'll probably make a custom pair. Make them like lime green and black, Dunkman edition. <laughs> That's about the only way you'll see me in a pair of those. But I do want to have one pair of all of his shoes. I just think it's cool, honestly, to have every single Jordan ever made. So that's part of the reason I went after this set. Also, um, shout out to the, my dude Zach Harvey on Facebook. Um, he's part of our size 15 big guys shoe group on Facebook. And uh, I ended up picking these up off of him. They are brand new, completely dead stock. Um, as you'll see, in great condition. And I got both pairs for $145 ship. So at the end of the day, to get two pairs of Jordans for $70, what, $73 each, $72.50 each? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. So, first off, we are going to go with... Now you guys will know which pack it is. The... <laughs> Don't you love suspense? Air Jordan 2s. That's right, this is the 221 pack. Uh, first off, for those of you guys who don't know, these boxes are really cool. Um, they end up sliding in like this. So they actually slide out to open up. Um, and it has entire breakdown um, with between both boxes. Um, well, I'll show you the other one as well. See, it's actually pretty sick. Um, so you've got Jordan. You've got the listing of all the shoes from the one down. This one goes all the way to the, two, uh, to the 12 on this side. And actually, that's it. I'm sorry. It doesn't go any further than that. <laughs> some reason, I thought it did. Um, oh, and uh, also, I want to show you the back. On the back, it says, uh, Dear Jordan Ambassador, I want to thank um, our most loyal Jordan Ambassadors for your allegiance and support throughout the past 23 years. Suffice it to say that the Air Jordan, its success, uh, its success, mystique, and fearless innovation over these years has played a profound role in my career. To help celebrate this banner year, we're releasing the pack, or we're releasing the Air Jordan Countdown 23 pack, a commemorative two pack that will honor uh, the complete legacy of the Air Jordan franchise. Each Countdown 23 pack will bring you two Air Jordans that celebrate the number 23 in its unique way, hence the two of the 21. Ultimately, uh, it's a way for us to show our appreciation. You are the champions of the Jordan brand, and so it rests on your shoulders to be authentic, to never compromise, to earn respect, and to aspire to greatness, because this legacy is ultimately yours to carry into the future. Thank you, Michael Jordan. So I thought that was kind of cool. It says that on both of them. Uh, let's put this one back in here for a second. So, love the box. Very solid box. And then we get to the Air Jordan 2. A lot of people don't like this shoe. I agree. I'm not a huge fan of this shoe either. There are three colorways that I like. This is one of them. Mainly because I love the color red, love Bulls colors. And at the end of the day, it is a legendary shoe. I, I do believe it's one of the one of the weakest Air Jordan releases. Um, but it also shows where they started from. And in a way, I think that's cool. Just to see where it you know came from and to where it's gone. Um, First off, we'll get up here so you can check them out. Like I said, uh, brand new, in really good shape. We've got red, black, and white, total bulls colors. Really white mid, uh, mid sole, mid through on both sides. We've got a tumble leather going up into the upper. And then a uh, completely smooth leather uh, around the toe box, which I'm sure it's going to crease like crazy, as well as a smooth leather up along both sides of the upper. Back, we've got the ribbing that the twos are known for, as well as the Nike. 
Um, I do think it's cool that it doesn't have a Jumpman logo. It's uh, It actually says Nike on it. Uh, then we've got, I, one thing I really do like is how you can see the red details through all this, but it's actually black on this side. Um, I really like how that looks. I really think it helps make the shoe pop. Um, another cool thing is it actually says 23 inside. Um, I hope you can see that right there inside of the actual um, inside of the actual shoe, as well as you've got logo all the way down at the bottom showing 23 as well. Hopefully, you guys. I don't think you can see that. Sorry. Plus, on the front again, the. Air Jordan logo, old school Air Jordan logo. I like that there's no jump man to be seen on this shoe. Then we get to the sole, very standard. I mean, back old school basic soles uh, before all the, the days of, you know, crazy ear pockets and replaceable heel cups. I didn't say that intentionally for what's coming next. But circular, you know, underneath the, uh, the ball of the foot, standard Jordan and uh, gray and red sole, but I really do like this shoe. Um, I know I probably won't be rocking it too often because white shoes and I don't get along very well. Um, they end up getting pretty well wrecked, but I really do like this kit. And you know, I figure for $145 for two pairs of shoes, one of which I don't have any in my collection, is well worth it. At least that's what I'm saying. So next we go on to, let me get this back in there, sorry. The Air Jordan 21. All right, let me pop this out and grab one of these to show you guys. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not the most prepared today. Probably could have set this up a little bit better. All right, let's put it up on top there. So, the Air Jordan 21, another shoe a lot of people hate it on. I think it's cool. Um, it's definitely not one of their best designs. But I do like it. So let me get up close here. Let you guys check it out in a little bit more detail. We've the entire side is a new buck. Actually, the entire shoe is a new buck. The entire mid, the entire upper, down the toe box, up the tongue, onto the actual, hold on, I'll show you this. Onto the actual tongue. Um, all this, where it says 21, all this is a new buck. Um, both sides around the mid, along into the lower, right above the carbon fibering there. Everything here is all Nubuck. Nice suede feel. Uh, actually, it might even be suede. I'm sorry, it might be suede, not even Nubuck. One thing that you automatically notice is this crazy whatever it is design here. I'll get up close so you guys can actually see it. It's like a, it's like a mesh, but it's a very like rough mesh. Like it's almost, I mean, it's almost like a wire cloth in a way. Uh, you've got the, the the glossy red accents going through, accenting the red sole with a little jump man up front. I like that jump man. And then the rest of the red sole. Love the exposed carbon fiber. We'll get to that in a second. Again, more of this mesh that goes here, uh, back and forth here, as well as in the toe box here. Kind of crazy looking. And then more exposed wiring along the uh, along the side of the upper. Uh, then finally on the back, this is I think the best look at the shoe. I really like this view of it. I like this little, it almost looks like a face uh, in, in the gloss red, says air right there, as well as the, uh, the gun metal colored jump man. And then again, more of the red sole. So then we'll go to the tongue. I wanna to show you a little bit more. Got the Jordan here at the bottom of the tongue. Again, another gunmetal color logo. Gunmetal, uh, I don't remember what they're called, epaulets? No, they're not called epaulets, that's what's on a shirt. I don't remember what those are called, sorry. <laughs> uh, plus, I really like this magnetized, come on, be magnetic. Uh, the tongue is magnetic, and it actually sticks down. Plus, I like the brightness of the gloss that's on these three eyelets. And I also really like how it's laced, so you don't see any exposed laces, um, similar to you know many other shoes, the 11 specifically, um, where you don't see any of the exposed lacing until you get up to these top ones. I like that. I also like how they did the inside of the shoe. It's actually done with like a cross stitch pattern, almost kind of what you see on really nice, um, really really nice. Um, what you call it? I'm sorry. Uh, 
interiors on cars. Like that looks like a Bentley. And then on this one, it says earned uh, on the inside of the tug here. And then finally, we will go around to the soul. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, I really like the 23 is kind of ghosted in here. Um, oh, sorry. I was out of camera there. Ghosted in here on the side of the ankle support. I like that. So now we go to the soul. I think this is a sick looking soul. Um, it kind of plays off, you know, some of the other Jordans, uh, specifically the 20s, that have some similar kind of little ridges like that or little circular patterns. Um, as you can see, carbon fiber, love the carbon fiber ankle support. Um, it actually says uh, independent pod your suspension for what these pods are. And then we'll get to this heel one, which, as you guys know, the biggest selling point of this shoe was you could actually replace the heel pods um, for different levels of comfort, I guess. I, I, I don't really remember what the actual selling point on it was, but it was essentially interchangeable air packets, I guess you could say. Um, I do like what they did with the sole itself. It almost looks like intersecting, it looks like a medical logo with intersecting snakes going all over the entire thing. Kind of crazy looking. Um, and like I said, carbon fiber looks so sick. So kind of basic sole at the end of the day. But this is what I wanted to show. This is one of the air packets itself. So it's got a different, you know, just a stiffness in the actual heel. Uh, got a little jump mat on the front. That, and I'll show you how they go in there. Uh, you actually have to peel up the bottom of the shoe. There we go. And then you can see down inside. Come on. There we go. Sorry, that's a little weird to, to do. Uh, that's where you actually would replace it. You just pop this right out. Hold on, I can't do this without looking at it. Uh, whatever. You pop that out, and you can replace it in there. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yep. So, then the sole just goes right back over, and then you're good to go. And, uh, again, this has the 23 in the bottom, just like the other one does. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Um, and, again, it says 1985 to 2008. So, I do believe this pack came out back in 2008 uh, was when all the packs came out. So... That is the Air Jordan 21, as well as the Air Jordan 2. Um, oh, that's something that's cool. Hold on, I just want to show you that. On the side of the box, it says which one it is. So this says the 21 here. Boom, boom. And then it says it came out in 2006. Let me get in camera there, derp. So I really like how that is. I think that's a really cool, you know, added feature on it. While the 2 says 1987, and it says 2. So overall... Um, I didn't have any Air Jordan 21s, so that was the main reason that I ended up picking up this package, because, like I said, I've tried to have one of every one of them. So, I know a lot of people did not like this package at all. Um, it originally sold for $310, so I got it for $145 shipped. Seem reasonable to me. <laughs> so, there you go. That is my newest sneaker collection edition. Um, the 221 pack. Let me know what you guys think. Um, were you able to get all of the, the Collection countdown packs uh, to the 23? This is my first one, like I said. Eventually, I'd like to get them all. One of my holy grails of all time is the 6-7. Uh, the I'm sorry, Derp. The 617. Um, the sixes from that, I, I love, 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 love. Um, always have, always will. Just is what it is. So, um, I believe they were, well, no, those were called Carmines. Those are the Corals. Maybe they were the Carmines. Either way, I love them. It shows I don't have them and I don't know about them, but I love them. So, once again, thank you very much for, I got little dog help here. What's up, sweetheart? Uh, thank you very much for checking out my videos as always. Let me know what you guys think of the pickup, what you guys think of this pack. Did you guys get it when it first came out? Shh. And uh, let me know. So, as always, I am Matthew Manley. This is MatthewManley.com. Thank you for checking out my videos, and I will see you on the next one. Until the next video, you can check out the rest of my videos here on YouTube. Search for Matthew Manley Poker. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch it a few times. Or you can check me out directly on MatthewManley.com. Check it out on the, uh, the video blog tab. Follow your boy on Twitter, at Matthew Manley. Like your boy on Facebook, Matthew Manley Poker. And I am out to let the dog. Peace.